Triggering is one of those topics on a oscilloscope, whether it's an analog scope or a digital scope, that uh, is usually the most one of the most confusing things to new users of scopes. So, uh, and I've dealt with a lot of the triggering controls in a previous video, but I just wanted to do a short video here to focus on one uh, one aspect here. That's uh, the the trigger mode. We notice under the trigger mode we've got auto and norm or normal and then single sweep which is kind of self-explanatory but I really wanted to kind of talk about what auto triggering means and what it doesn't mean uh, is uh, some people might think that auto trigger means that hey I'm automatically going to figure out what's going on with the signal and trigger on it that's not what auto trigger means um, as you may remember that uh, say on an analog scope what trigger means in a sense is that you know when am I going to kick off the sweep and have it go across the screen and uh, you want that to kind of you know, be synchronized to your signal so you get a nice stable, stable display like we have here. Um, and uh, you normally set up your various trigger, trigger controls to make that happen. Um, what auto does is it recognizes the fact that sometimes you might not have your trigger controls set up appropriately in order to get a sweep. Okay. And if we, say, adjust my trigger level, I'll pan back here, and notice if I adjust the trigger level, I can see the waveform is starting at different places, okay, because I'm basically setting a threshold at, at which point we're going to kick off the sweep. And if I adjust this, say, too far down, see how the trace is just kind of rolling? I don't have anything there anymore. And if I bring it up too far, I can see I go up past the top of the waveform, and I'm not triggered anymore. I'm just getting kind of a free-rolling uh, display, okay? Now the reason I'm getting this free rolling display is because I'm in the auto triggered mode. So now what that really means is that if we've got the trigger controls maladjusted or not adjusted properly to properly trigger on your signal, the scope is going to send a sweep anyway. Okay? And that's really why we've got this untriggered, you know, thing going on here and the waveform is not stable because the scope is saying, "Okay, you don't have these things set up right." So rather than leave the screen blank, I'm going to send the sweep anyway. Again, watch what happens as I rotate the uh, trigger knob. See, now I'm, I'm into the waveform again, and I can kind of trigger. If I go down below, it doesn't sweep again. Now, if I change the trigger mode from auto to uh, the next one down here, which is normal, and we can see the, the display hasn't changed, and if I change the trigger amplitude, you can see that you know, I can still move up or down, but watch what happens if I go too far below. Okay, the trace goes away. Okay. So the little red light here that indicates that I'm triggered is no longer lit, okay, and I'm not getting any sweep at all. See, if the auto mode, if I hit that back in here, see I'm getting a sweep, but your clue that you're not triggered is that this trigger light is not indicated here. And uh, let's switch it back to normal, and if I rotate my trigger level back up again, we can see, okay, my trigger light lit up here, and I'm triggered again. So that's really what the auto mode does, is it helps get you out of trouble okay it throws a sweep even if you don't have the, tr the trigger control set up right okay and it works kind of the same way on digital scopes as well so let's let's take this signal here let's move it over to uh, this digital scope over here so let's just plug that signal in here now one of the differences on a digital scope is that you know almost almost exclusively or uh, you know kind of by default the uh, trigger position Okay, there's this little indicator on this tectronic scope here. It's kind of in the middle of the screen. So I see pre-trigger information and post-trigger information. Unlike the analog scope where the trigger really is kind of at the left edge of the screen uh, most of the time. You hear I can see pre-trigger and post-trigger. And the horizontal position control here you know, allows me to move that back and forth. So I can look at more pre-trigger or more you know, post-trigger information. And a lot of them have a uh, you know set to zero, which kind of sets me right back in the middle here again. But the trigger mode control works the same way. So by hitting the trigger menu button here, okay, I can see the trigger menu on the side here. What I'm going to trigger on, you know, the type, uh, which in this case you can see it says edge, the source, the channel one, uh, rising edge, and there's the mode right there. It says auto. Okay, so auto is going to work the same way like we did earlier. Okay, if I adjust my trigger level. Okay, that's this knob right here. If I adjust the trigger level. I can see I'm moving up or down the waveform. Remember, I'm triggering right here in the middle. Okay, so I can see myself moving up or down. And if I bring that trigger level by the little arrow there above, we can see the scope is now free running. Okay, I'm untriggered. 
okay? And uh, we can just kind of see that we're in this auto mode, so we're just kind of going along. If I roll this back down, notice uh, how the, the display got uh, stable again. If I go down all the way past the bottom, then I roll again. And your indicator on this scope here, at the very top of the screen, you see there where it says auto, that means that the triggering is under auto uh, sweep, if you will. And if I bring this up and I'm actually triggered, I can actually see now it says, now that I'm actually triggered. So it works kind of the same way. And uh, if I go, if I change the mode here from auto to normal, okay, now what will happen is as I move this trigger level up, you can see what happens. That I'm not getting an update on the screen. What happens is the last triggered event is what's staying on the screen. Okay, so I'm not going to send or grab a new acquisition here. I'm just going to use the last triggered event that I had. Okay, where if I switched it back to auto mode, now I'll free run. So, so auto triggering is not like an auto set. Uh, sometimes you've got a, an auto set button here on a scope, on the digital scopes that can automatically set up, say, a vertical channel and the number of channels and try to set up a trigger level. Um, it's kind of a shortcut way of getting started and getting the scope set up, but it doesn't always work right. But the auto set is not the same thing as the auto mode in the trigger. Now the, again, the auto mode in the trigger is just designed to give you a trace on the screen, even if you don't have the trigger control set up right, uh, to help you see what you're looking at, and they even give you, a, you know, some visual guidance then of how to appropriately set the trigger level. So, anyway, I hope this short little video kind of clears up uh, that point of confusion. Um, you know, trigger can be a tricky topic, and uh, so we'll try to cover some of these with some other, other videos if uh, anybody has any more questions or comments. Thank you.